Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall, offering you a Windows 10 Pro serial key for only $17, and if you use my SKAG code, you get 20% off, lowering the price to $13. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time, and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. That's the joke. You suck, McBain! <laughs> Hello guys, I should gameplays. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and to a new video today. So for today's video I decided to do something like stupid. I've seen several topics across the internet where people actually say, okay, I'm using toothpaste to cool my CPU instead of thermal paste. And some people say, okay, does it work? Uh, does it not work? So there are many questions and most of people are still non-believers. So what I'll do today is basically grab this toothpaste and put it in my CPU to see if it actually works with decent temperatures or not. This Thermal Grizzly Aeronaut is the thermal paste that I'm using currently in my build and I've been using it uh, to test other CPUs, for example the ones you'll see later with the RX 5600X that you've seen before, uh, 3800XT and so on so on so on. So my current CPU is the Ryzen 3 3100 and like I said before using the Thermal Grizzly Aeronaut Thermal Paste. I'm gonna run the Cinebench R20 and actually see the temperatures for you to see, okay? for me and for you to see, so let's see the temperatures here, CPU, die, CPU, die, average, CPU, okay. So basically, the test is done. Uh, and we've reached a maximum peak temperature, a maximum peak temperature, sorry, uh, as you can see in the screen, uh, of, yes, 65 degrees, around 65 degrees. So that's not much at all. The CPU is stock, obviously the CPU is running stock, but we've reached a max of 65, which is not bad at all for Cinebench R20. Now, this thermal paste has been in my computer in this testing build for like 3-4 days, like a max of 5 days, um, and it can, it, it can usually reach up to 2 years of usage. And I won't go much into the, the, the temperature for now, but you've seen a max of 65 degrees. Now, let's take off these Aeronaut thermal paste and put on this toothpaste. Now remember that the toothpaste, uh, while using the toothpaste, you have to take in consideration if it is conductant or not. So for example, most of the thermal pastes that you can put in your CPU that are being sold on stores are usually non-conductant. So basically, uh, it, they won't conduct electricity, only heat. When you put them in your motherboard for in a mistake, for example, uh, they won't do any harm because they won't conduct electricity. Now, you must take in consideration that your toothpaste may be conductant. And if you have a poor control over your hands and you spread it across the motherboard, you may fry your motherboard. So take that in consideration and please be careful if doing this, okay? Let's remove the thermal paste and apply the toothpaste. <laughs> Let's go. I took a bit of it, it seems quite better now, frankly. So let's put the, the cooler and test it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I hope I don't actually fry anything because that is all, this is also the first time that I'm testing anything uh, close to this. So, save me God. So guys, actually, so far so good. Let's see how it handles the, the Cinebench and some games and to see how things go, how the temperature acts with the uh, toothpaste. Now, that's surprising. So, as you can see in the monitor, the maximum temperatures were on the CPU, the, the temperature was around 65 degrees, the same for the CPU die, and only the CPU first CCD, first and only CCD, as two degrees increased, around two degrees increase while running Cinebench. So, it seems that this toothpaste is actually pretty good. Nice! Uh, let's play now some games to see how it actually fares and I'll do a test with Prime95 for let's say half an hour to see how the toothpaste actually handles high temperatures. Let's wait and see. I uh, see a mission objective. We're going to destroy this here, not retrieve it. That is not, sir, what Dr. Hayden, the, uh, the Seraphim, has requested of us, uh, you. So as you've seen, temperatures weren't bad at all, they were actually quite good. So we're around 50 degrees gaming and we were around 65 degrees while doing the Cinebench R20. Of course more runs will eat up more, uh, will maybe degrade the toothpaste and that's why I want to, t to test the Prime 95 to see how the toothpaste degrades over time. Of course it will just be half an hour but the, the temperatures will rise to a really high level, so that will make us see how the toothpaste will degrade. A few moments later. So guys, here we are again uh, after one and a half hour of Prime 95 and as you can see in the screen, um, the maximum temperature we actually achieved was 77 degrees on the, the CPU and uh, 79 degrees, so two degrees more on the on the the CCD one, which is actually the only CCD. So basically, a max of 79 degrees, which is not that much for Prime 95 using this cooler and even more using toothpaste. But the objective of the video is to actually see if the toothpaste uh, can actually be a lifesaver for an uncommon situation. Let's say. Uh, so if you can use it for let's say like one or two days without any problem and if you're only gaming uh, The temperatures will be way lower. So can you use it for one or two days? I'm pretty sure you can now. Let's remove once again the, the CPU cooler and see how degraded or not is the toothpaste Now, the CPU cooler removed, this is how the CPU cooler looks. So, yeah, almost no toothpaste here, but lots of it in the sides. Focus, please. Yeah. Lots of it in the sides. 
Now, as for the CPU, I don't know if you can actually see in the video, but it has a pretty decent layer of toothpaste, but also um, a really, really thin one. So it is put across, spread across the CPU, but the layer is quite thin. Um, but yeah, it is still quite decent. Let's see. Mm, not at all. And this one. Mm, it's decent, I guess. This one on the CPU cooler is actually a bit sticky, which is good. Um, but this one on the CPU is already, yeah, stickiness zero. So basically the toothpaste is actually dry. The, yeah, it's, it's practically dry on the CPU. And we're, we're only using it for like three hours, maybe three hours and one and a half hour of Prime 95. This one is quite okay, I guess, but this one is quite dry. So, yeah. So basically people, well, can you use toothpaste as a thermal paste? Yes, you can. The temperatures weren't bad at all. They were actually quite, quite fine. Thank God. But the thermal paste will last months and months, maybe years, while the toothpaste, as you can see, after like three or four hours of usage, is already dry. At least on the CPU part, it is already dry. So it won't last longer, much longer, uh, and we'll keep raising the temperatures because uh, it will dry up more, more and more. So once again, can you use toothpaste as thermal paste? You can. And if you have like a situation where you don't have thermal paste and you will have in like one or two days, then you can use toothpaste, then remove it and put again the thermal one because you'll be completely fine. For a short amount of time, toothpaste will actually suffice with pretty decent temperatures. Nice. That's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Me and the channel. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what's your experience with toothpaste, how much it will last for you uh, and so on, so on, so on, because I want to know. I want to know. So leave it in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.